Hey, all right. It's very early. <laughs> yeah, it's the opposite. See, I'm like wide awake and spunky. You're not. <laughs> Payback is, uh, yeah. Todd got me up early. Yeah, it all evens out here. You know. Let's just go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to your daily scrum. I'm professional scrum trainer Ryan Ripley. This guy over here is early bird Todd Miller. Good morning. I'm trying to act and, all spooky. Uh, not good. <laughs> Todd, is there a team lead in Scrum? Uh, you know, I I went back and I reread the the new version of the Scrum Guide here, and I don't know that there is as explicit language in the Scrum Guide uh, as there was in Scrum Guide 2017, uh, yeah. saying that basically Scrum Guide 2017 said absolutely not um, that every person on the development team was considered a developer, which by way made there, there no um, no hierarchical structure there, but no. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. I've always you know even with the development team being removed, the language shifting to developers, I still think the language in the Scrum Guide is pretty clear that um, it, it's basically round table Camelot situation here. It's 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 all equals at the table. Um, when it comes to the developers, even the scrum master and the product owner, you know, there's no hierarchy. There's no, this person's over that person or this person reports to that person. In fact, we explicitly try to avoid that. So no, I mean, there's no official title of team lead, um, on a scrum team. And, uh, I don't see any language that would lead me to believe that, uh, that would be intended in any way. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, there's some reasons for that, right? And this is not or what Ryan and I are trying to say here is is not that there shouldn't be more senior technical people, right? Or like we are, we already went through the generalist versus specialist, and we feel we you know, watch that video if that's what if that's where your head is going. But there isn't to say that we don't have you know a good blend of experience on a on a on a scrum team here. Uh, it's just that there are no hierarchies within it's a team right so yeah. the scrum team it's a team which by its very nature should have a flat hierarchical structure to it um and that helps to encourage you know collective decision making really trying to find the best path to solving the problem right rather than just someone kind of dictating it because they have a managerial title it's things like that yeah i this, the thing that in the new scrum guide that really kind of popped out to me when we were kind of prepping for this question is that you know, there's explicit language that says holding each other accountable as professionals. If there was one above all, it would say this person holds everyone account. And that's not the case. The developers are holding each other accountable as professionals. Uh, that means they're all equal uh, on the scrum team. At least that's what, what I'm going to read into it. And uh, so, yeah, I would say there's no official title. But as Todd said, you can senior people are welcome and they should yeah. be pairing, pairing with the ju more junior, yeah. the newer people. We're all trying to to, to level everybody up, work together, get better together. But there is no one person you would point to and say, all right, you're the one that talks to the product owner and you're the one that speaks for us. And no, we want to collaborate and we want to get anything out of the way that would prevent mm -hmm. that collaboration, that would um, cause issues like that. And I think hierarchy does that. It and does. So and, and, and I don't know how we missed this, but in the Scrum Guide 2020, it states right under the Scrum team, Within a scrum team, there are no sub teams or hierarchies. I don't, I don't know, we missed it, but it's in there. So within a scrum team, there are no sub teams or hierarchies. So I think that just answers our, our, our question directly. Plus, I think a lot of the things, the reasons why um, we, we that we've covered. So, yeah, I think that's another good piece of information from the scrum guide that kind of helps lead our way. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I think we've got this one, Todd. I think we do. All right, let's take a look at this end screen. Check out socials at Agile for Humans on all of your favorite social media sites. Hit the like and subscribe button because you never know when we're going to drop a new show, a new type of show, or uh, you know, even a, a your daily scrum. Hit that like and subscribe so you don't miss it. Um, check out the shows below. The AI thinks that you're going to like it and uh, like them, and so do we. Uh, yeah. Check out your teams, talk to your teammates, see what they think about this idea. Uh, go forth, have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.